No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market right now, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee five minute delivery and 24 7 customer support. Use promo code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. What is going on everybody? Mazomatic back with another mother freaking video. I'm having to be a little bit more quiet. I'm having to be quiet. That's why I shushed you at the beginning of the video. Let's let's turn my microphone down a little bit. That's why I shushed at the beginning of the video. Cuz you know why? It's 5 in the morning. It is 5 in the morning and my walls are very thin and my neighbors are probably going to hate me, but I gotta get this video out before I go to town. It's the scheme video that I promised in my last tip video. I said if it gets 200 likes, I will do the scheme, and it got like it's at like 800, and it's keep going up. So you guys want the scheme, and I'm going out of town, so I want to get it to you. The scheme, Arizona Cardinals playbook. I'm in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Gun tight. This playbook is amazing. It has so many good formations. Bunch tight end. It's got a bunch of single back. It's got single back ace. It's got single back wide trips. It's got pistol bunch tight end, like I said. It's got gun split close. Gun ace slot offset. It's got a lot of good formations. But the one I'm looking at is gun tight. Um, same formation from my money play that I made. Almost the same. Uh, just a little bit different name. Same as I said in the last video. You want your fastest receiver right here where 14 is. Um, because this is going to be the guy who's going to take the top off the defense. So you need a fast guy to do that. You can't use Larry Fitzgerald. I'm sorry. If you really like Larry, I'm sorry. The scheme is made up of five plays. Five plays. That's all you need. And if you make the right reads, you will dominate your opponents. The five plays are PA zone across, halfback draw, zone seams, zone Z spot, and zone post. Those are your five plays. That's all you need. A lot of passing plays. The only run play is halfback draw. If you look at your audibles, you're going to want zona Z spot at your square spot, halfback draw where your run play is, then zona seams and PA zone across. Um, and then I'm just going to get right into it, guys. First, let's start with the easy one, halfback draw. I don't need to say much. On defense, let me just call cover three sky. Um, the one tip I give on this, don't sprint when you hand off the ball. Don't sprint. Um, you're gonna get a lot better animations. You're gonna get you navigate through the line a lot better if you don't sprint. And uh, you know, five to ten yards is what you're expecting out of this run play. It's a change of pace. Um, like I said, it's a lot of passing. I I like to pass a ball this year a lot more than I like to run the ball. So this is the only run play I really use in this scheme. Um, and it, again, like I said, it's just a change of pace. You're seeing right here. I'm getting a solid 5'10". That's all you really want out of a run play. Sometimes you're going to bust off big ones. Sometimes you're going to get stuffed. Nature of running the ball, I don't like it, but that's that's the run play. Um, the next play we're going to look at is, um, I'll just go over it really quick right here. Zona seams. This is the money play that I talked about. All you do, motion this guy over, put Williams on a drag, and that's the play. And I'm going to go through this one a little bit faster because I made a full video on this. And so if you want to see it, then go watch the video. It's about 15 minutes of an in-depth analysis of this play. Um, there's that way to run it where you you motion that guy over. That beats cover three, beats a cover four. Then there's also the way that I like where you just motion this guy out. And I run it this way a lot. Motion that guy out. And then you're going to high pass it to your tight end. Well, that didn't work very well. But you're going to high pass it to your tight end. If uh, that linebacker doesn't follow him, um, if the linebacker does follow him like he just did, that's why you got your check down. So let's say that linebacker follows him. Check it down. That's six yards right there. So um, that watch the video if you want to see more on that play. The main reason I like this play is because of this money play. This beats cover uh, three. It beats cover four, and uh, beats man coverage too. Ooh, ooh, 
Almost a touchdown. But basically, that's that play. Go watch the video if you want to see it. It's a great play. Um, the main way I run it is I don't always do that money play or I motion him over. The main way I run it is this, where it beats a cover two up the sideline, or it could beat a cover two down the seam, um, or you could high pass it to your tight end. That's the main way I run this play. The next play we're looking at, zone Z spot. Now, this is kind of the bread and butter of this offense because this is a play that you can run every single time. It's not a one-play touchdown, but if you make the right reads, it's going to get you consistent yards and drive you up and down the field. And it doesn't really matter what your opponent's doing on defense because if they adjust to what you're throwing, that opens up something else. So we're looking at a cover three. Let's say to start there in a cloud flat, which let's say that's just generically what people are going to run out of a cover three. This is the play, the zone of Z spot. Um, you got your Z receiver, number 10, your circle one on a spot route. I like to put that on a drag. So to do that is triangle. You select your circle receiver and you put it our right stick down. That's a drag route. Um, then what I do after that, I'm going to motion him out here. And I'm going to hike it. Your first read always going to be your running back out of the backfield. You see that? That's, that's 10, 10 to 12 yards because he didn't cover the hard flat. Um, so you're going to make your opponent cover the hard flat. Again, put Williams on a drag. Motion him out. See what see what your opponent gives you. And uh, that one, it kind of was weird. It almost like he played the hard flat because that was a curl flat, I think. But in a cloud flat, your hard flat is going to be open, if that makes sense. Uh, if you guys know what a cloud flat is on the outside, it's going to leave your hard flat open. So again, see if the running back's open. If he is, you throw it, you get 10 yards. And that's that's all you can really ask for. 10 yards. That's your first read always. If your opponent is running a hard flat, so let's say he's like, hey, I'm not going to let you throw that. So you know Johnson's not going to be open. Let's see what happens. Your next read is going to be your tight end. Look at that. That's 15-20. You catch it in stride. You can also take that further. So again, if your running back's not open, if your running back is not open, you're going to throw it to your tight end. You see, that's wide open. So there's no way they're making a play on that. Now let's say, again, I'm just running this against a cover three. Against a Tampa two, it's going to be the same reads. Um, it doesn't really matter what, again, it doesn't matter what opponent what your opponent does. You just got to read it mid-play. So let's look at it against a Tampa two. Same thing. Um, if the flat's open, you throw it to the flat. But let's say the flat is not open. So Tampa 2, again, flat's not open. Like I said, the exact same read. Your next read is going to be Gresham, your tight end. So let's get this play set up. Um, if the flat is not open, same exact read. Doesn't matter if it's cover 2, cover 3, cover 4. Same read. Oh, my goodness. The effort by Johnson. But basically, um, I'm just going to stick to a cover 3 because, like I said, it doesn't matter what your opponent does. Let's say... They cover both of them. They cover the flat with Johnson. They run a hard flat. And they put this guy out in a curl flat, or it's the user. What to do then? Looks like we're just out of luck. Psych. They cover both of them. That opens up the middle of the field for the drag route. You just got to make a read, guys. So first read is going to be Johnson. Next read, Gresham on the corner. Final read, Williams. You can run that. It's going to take your opponent a few times to make an adjustment to, to cover that. And if they do that, then look at the left side of the field. You got the same flood concept. You got Kirk and Nelson. So if they do cover that, so let's say, let's say it's a hard flat. So your opponent's going to have to make all these adjustments while you're getting yards. You understand that. So let's say it's a hard flat, curl flat, and he users Williams. Okay, so I'm going to pretend that's a user. Then let's see what happens. You look to the left side. First read is going to be Nelson. Oh, is Nelson open? No. Then we throw it to uh, right, Nelson was open. Your first read I meant to say is, uh, is Kirk on the zig route square. So if he covers all three of the right-hand routes, you're going to look at the left side. First read is going to be shallow, Kirk. If it's there, throw it. If it's not there, wait, and Nelson will be open. 
Now you understand, you say, what if he covers everything? Now how is he going to cover the corner route, the flat route, the middle of the field, the shallow route left, and the C route while still having a pass rush? It's not going to happen. So you got to make a read on this play. And this is a play you could literally spam your opponents if you know your reads up and down the field, run it over and over and over again, and really just piss them off. It's, it's just, you got to know your reads, take what your opponent gives you. Again, this isn't the huge money play. That's the zone of seams. That's the deeper play. And then I wait till I get to PA zone across. That's what I'm going to move on to right now. This is the best play, in my opinion, in Madden right now. Um, it It is not a one play touchdown, but it is close to it. You're going to get about 40 yards, and there are no zones on the field that can cover this route. And the route is Williams, that that deep corner. Watch this. That is easy. I didn't even describe what I did there. So, uh, PA zone across is this play. This is this is my favorite play in this scheme. What you do is you motion Kirk over this weird little zig corner route, and you put Nelson on a drag. So that's what you're playing. It looks crazy, right? But the thing is, this is a purple zone out there, a curl flat, which is supposed to cover deep corners. A cloud flat is not going to do any better. That corner by Williams is so deep that no zone covers it. The deep zone stays behind it, and then any other zone will play way more shallow than it. So if we run it one more time, you're going to see I got a curl flat out there. You pass lead into the sideline, and no one stands a chance. I'm going to show you if you run a, a curl or a cloud flat instead. And you might be saying, what if you run a cover two? Just wait till I get to that. It's even better against a cover two. So I'm going to run it one more time. we got a cloud flat out there on, uh, on defense. Again, and this is tough. What I what, what I would recommend, run it to the boundary, if that makes sense. Um, run it to the boundary. Because that way, it causes this deep third on the right, um, Roby. It causes him to get pushed off farther by this weird Gresham's like seam route. Now let's actually see what happens. I'm going to do a little live lab right here. If we put Gresham on a fade route right here, let's see how that looks. I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh. Money. So if you put Gresham on a fade route, let's, let's run it to the wide side of the field. We're going to put Gresham on a fade route again because that was wide open. Okay, so PA zone across. Put Gresham on a fade. And you don't really need to motion this guy over. The reason, I'll go over that in a minute. I'm going to go just run this play one more time. Wide open. That is just wide open. And that's deep down the field. That's a solid 30 yards. The only way they're covering that is with a user. That is the only way they're covering it. And so the reason I say that, so let's say their user, so again, their user's all the way out here because he really wants to cover this route by Williams, which, I mean, some people might do. They might run all the way down there with the user. That's why he motioned over number 10. He's got that weird stick route, and he's most likely going to be open over the middle of the field. Or you can check it down right here. That's another 10, 15 yards. Um, this play action, the re it, I just really like this play. And sorry if I'm going pretty fast for this video. Again, um, it's a lot of lot of plays, a lot of material to get through. So I'm kind of having to go fast. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And hopefully, we can have someone answer them. But basically, um, you motion over Gresham. Or not Gresham. You motion over this weird stick route. And it looks really hectic. But if, if there's no one in the middle of the field where his user is, then that stick route's going to come back to the middle late. So if his user leaves to cover that corner route, then that's where the stick route is going to be handy. But again, this play is ridiculous. This is like stupid. 
how open this guy gets. And I'm going to show you after this. I, I, I should show you against the cover too. Just look at that, man. It's just like it, it's such a deep play that gets open. I'm going to show you against a cover two because this is really a cover two killer. All right, so we got a cover two with a deep blue. In the offense, we're going to run PA zone across. Again, motion this guy over. Put the drag down. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Is that going to be a one-play tutty? Almost. If you've got a fast guy out there, it would be. But you see against the cover two, let's look at the replay really quick. Basically, it's pretty simple what's happening. Gresham is just running straight down the field, pushing off this safety. You got this guy coming underneath, which pulling down this guy. And Williams comes on the side and just splits him. And you pass lead him to the outside, rat catch it, take it up the sideline. That's ridiculous, man. Wide open against cover two. So, so far I've kind of showed you guys a lot of the base plays. I've showed you Zona Z spot, Zona seams, PA zone across, and halfback draw. And then the last play I'm going to show you is Zona post. And this play is really good too. Um, and you don't, again, you can if you rotate through all these plays, your opponent's just going to be really confused. You're going to have reads, you're going to have dots, and your, your opponent's going to be like, what is going on? Um, I'm just going to run this against a random play. So that that is what you're looking at. So this is how I like to run it. Put Nelson on a streak or a fade. Put him on a fade. Put Kirk on a drag. Put Williams on a drag. Again, you're going to motion out Williams. And you're going to hike it. If the flat's open, take it. Take it right away if the flat's open. Always. This quick little flat route by Johnston, your running back, it's going to be yards if they don't cover hard flat. So again, you got double drags. You got the flat. Let's say flat's open again. You see, if your opponent was doing this, I'm running a random defense. So if your opponent was doing this, you're getting 15 yards by checking down your running back. Let's say the flat's not open. Then you wait and you can check the drag route. Um, I'm making live reads right here. So the last thing I want to tell you guys, which I don't know if the, the random defense is going to let me do it. The route that's really interesting is Gresham on this post. Basically what happens is um, these drag routes are going to pull down the linebackers. This The streak by Nelson is going to push off the safeties and deep zones. And if it's man coverage, you know that that's a man beating route too. Um, but basically, it opens up a pocket. I'm gonna switch to like a cover three on defense, or that's a cover two. You know, I'll just do a cover two. Cover two, deep blue. Okay, so again, double drags, fade Nelson, and then you're gonna motion that guy out on defense. We're gonna run a cover two, deep blue, hard flat, because you've been thrown to the flats all day, baby. Your opponent's getting pissed off. Motion this guy. Look how open that post route is over the middle of the field. And that has nothing really to do with the hard flats. More has to do with the deep blue in the middle. But let's say it's a cover three. Let's say it's a cover six. Cover six hard flats. He wants to take away your flat routes. Because that's all you've been throwing. He's pissed off. You got Nelson on the fade. We're all set. Let's see what happens. So I got sacked, as you can see. But basically, what I wanted to show you, I'm, God dang it. I got to set that all up again. All right, we're going to cover three sky, hard flats. And then on offense, double drags, fade Nelson, motion this guy out again. The reason you're, you're waiting on that, the post route. <laughs> so basically, the whole point of this offense is, is, I'm going to give you guys like a closing general view. You don't need to run it exactly the way I'm running it. The whole point of this offense, take the flats when they give it to you. Make them play hard flats. And then when they play hard flats, it's going to open up those deeper crossing routes. It's going to open up the deeper corner routes. And then on top of that, you have the zone of seams money play. You have you know that deep um, PA zone across, that deep corner by Williams. You have those 
those deep routes, you have the money plays, and you have I'm gonna take the flats and, and you know get my yards while I can. Then to switch it up, you also have halfback draw. Obviously, I got stopped right there. I hate running the ball, but you have halfback draw. You got a lot of options. Again, though, the bread and butter is zona Z spot. This is a play to me that has reads all over the field. You can't cover everything, and that's going to frustrate them. And then you also mix in those other plays, sprinkle them in. Um, it's a really good offense. I really have had a lot of success with it. Not to mention, you don't have to stay in this formation. This, Like I said, this playbook has a ton of other formations that I'll probably be doing videos on in the coming weeks. Um, but overall, I hope this video wasn't too long. I've been recording for a long time, so I don't know what I'm going to cut out and what I'm going to put in. But I hope it helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to help you guys out. Um, and if I can't, I'm sure someone else in the comments will be able to help you guys out. And just run this. And it, at first, it might seem kind of difficult. Um, but if you practice and you keep doing it, you're going to get better. You're going to get your reads down. And soon, you're going to be making people rage quit, baby. So leave a like if you enjoyed it. Um, it's a little bit different than a lot of my tip videos. It's a little more casual, I'd say. Um, but leave a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Now I'm on the outside.